Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, uh, we're going to answer another frequently asked question. Battleship New Jersey, like many other museum ships, has awnings up um, for visitor comfort and a variety of other reasons. And uh, the big question we get asked pretty frequently, and I've heard this on other ships I've worked on with awnings, is, uh, well, I, I hate that you've modified the original vessel for these things for visitor safety, blah, 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 or not or visitor comfort. Uh, th there shouldn't be tents on there at all. And uh, the simple truth is that's not accurate. Going all the way back to sailing ships that have a lot of canvas on them, uh, it was quite common to rig an awning over the main deck. Now, you only do this in port. In sailing ships, it's very important to see what's going on above you. So you can't have your vision blocked by an awning. Uh, so for example, when I used to work on Constellation, we had an awning that was rigged very similar to the kind that was uh, normally up there. And very important, not only is it cooling for the folks working on deck, but it also keeps the sun from beating off of the wood decks, which then radiates down through the unair conditioned interior of the ship to where the crew lives and sleeps. So, a very comfortable thing to have up when you're in port. Likewise, large parts of uh, most World War II ships were unair conditioned, especially living and working spaces. And so, again, when you're underway, especially on a fast battleship like New Jersey that's cruising around at 20 or 30 knots with the carriers, uh, you can't have your awnings up. The winds ripping over the deck will, will shred them. But when you're in port, it's very frequent for them to be rigged, not just on days when you're having the public on board, but also on days when uh, you're just in port for your own crew's sake. You will notice that on Iowa-class battleships, New Jersey and Iowa have a pipe uh, that's welded on around the side of each of the main battery turrets. That is to rig an awning to. On Wisconsin and Missouri, that is a uh, low railing around the top of the turrets. Don't ask me why the, the different Iowa's got uh, different setups for that, but that's where the awnings were originally supposed to be rigged. These are original features of these ships. In fact, Iowa-class battleships are built with a sail locker that would have had several Singer sewing machines in it. Obviously, we didn't carry sails. That's not an auxiliary power source. Uh, I've seen people who, who look at the plants and say, oh, there's a sail locker. They must be able to rig a sail from the mast if the engines break down. Nope, that is them using the traditional name uh, and continuing to use the space for canvas, but not sails, the awnings that they traditionally rig. There are tons of pictures of, say, the Pearl Harbor battleships with awnings rigged because uh, they're in port. That said, Many museum ships have exceeded this. So for example, our forward awnings are where they should be. Back aft, especially in the 80s when we had a flight deck on board, I'm not aware of any provisions for an awning. Uh, so Iowa, uh, New Jersey, and Missouri all have big uh, tents, more or less permanent uh, framework built on the fantail. And uh, th these tents come down in for us in the winter, I don't know if they have that in California or Hawaii, but uh, they form a great event space, which allows us to continue to operate the ship in rough weather. So yeah, it detracts from the original look of the ship, but it's very important for our ability to operate. And the other awnings throughout the rest of the ship are uh, just about as they would have been originally. My personal favorite uh, museum ship awning is the one on Kid because they interpret Kid as if it's World War II and her awnings actually dyed the same deck blue color like it would have been in the 1940s. I think that's really cool. Um, so what did you think? Did, did you realize that a modern battleship that doesn't have sails carried a sail locker? Let us know in the comment section down below. What are some other topics you'd like to see in future videos? Also let us know down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below to continue donating if you'd like to support the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.